What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Kangaroo Black, coming back once again to talk about my Alabama Crimson Tide. Coach Nick Saban went out and hired another offensive analyst that goes by the name of John McNulty. I know a lot of us SEC fans, or probably most SEC fans, have never heard of this guy, which I haven't, but he's been around the game of football a long time. Uh, he had several stops in the NFL as well as college football. He started his coaching career in 1991 with Michigan as a grad assistant from 91 to 94. From 95 to 97, he was a wide receiver coach and a special teams coach with Connecticut. Then he made a jump to the NFL. From 98 to 2002, he was with the Jacksonville Jaguars as a wide receiver coach. Then from 2003, well, in 2003, he was with the Dallas Cowboys as a wide receiver coach. Then he came back to college with Rutgers. From 2004 to 2008, he was with Rutgers as a wide receivers coach, quarterback coach, uh, co-offensive coordinator, then he made his way to be the offensive coordinator. 2000, then he went back to the NFL. 2009 through 2012, he was with the Arizona Cardinals as a wide receiver coach and a quarterback coach. Then he went to the Buccaneers in 2013 as the quarterback coach. 2014 to 15, he was with the Tennessee Titans as the quarterback coach. 2016 to 2017, he was with the San Diego slash Los Angeles Chargers as a tight ends coach. 2018, he came back to college. 2018 and 19, he was with Rutgers, back with Rutgers as a offense coordinator and a quarterback coach. 2019, he was with uh, Penn State as an offensive analyst. Uh, 20 to 21, he was with Notre Dame as a tight ends coach. 2022, last season, he was with Boston College as their offense coordinator. So he's had several positions, uh, or coached several positions on the offensive side of the ball. Quarterbacks, wide receivers, tight ends. Plus, he's been off offense coordinators, uh, offense coordinator a couple of times. But, like I say, he got several experience, man. And, uh, when and he's familiar with Tommy, Tommy Reese, our, our offensive coordinator, or our Alabama's new offensive coordinator. So he's familiar with Tommy Reese. Tommy Reese is familiar with this guy because they worked together in 20 and 21. So, uh, hey, that, that's a good thing. Uh, this guy, as a tight ends coach at, at Notre Dame, he helped develop Michael Mayer. And Michael Mayer, one of their best tight ends, uh, in 2020, he had 42 catches and two touchdowns as a freshman, totaled 450 yards as a freshman. 2021, he had a team high in receptions, 71 receptions for 840 yards and seven touchdowns. In 2022, Michael Mayer had 67 catches for 809 yards and nine touchdowns. So uh, he's getting a lot of he was getting a lot of balls thrown his way at the tight end position, and that's what I think Nick Saban is trying to do. Uh, uh, incorporate, incorporate Alabama's tight ends more because if you know, watch Alabama football, they rarely use the tight end. Cameron Latou, I think they uh, used him more than any other tight end we didn't we didn't have. Uh, Cameron Latou was a pretty good quarterback. But uh, going back to the 2015 season, we had OJ Howard. OJ Howard came up big for us. In the national championship game that year against Clemson, he had two big touchdowns where they left him wide open. Basically, forgot about him, busted coverage. I'm sure that Clemson defense wasn't looking for us to throw the throw to the tight end uh, like we did in that game. And OJ Howard got open from his tight end position, and scored two big touchdowns for us. So, uh, like I said, I think Nick Saban would incorporate the tight ends more. And guess what? We got several tight ends. Several, they pretty big too. Uh, who we got? Uh, we got a. Well, let me see. Amar Knee Black, who stands uh six four. Uh, let me see. Amar Knee Black, mm, six four two twenty five. We got Miles Kessman, six five two fifty. Robert Outs, six four two fifty eight. Uh, Danny Lewis, six five two fifty five, and Elijah Brown, six five two thirty eight. So that's five uh tight ends that Alabama has. Uh, I think. Coming in in this season, it'll be more of Robert Outs and Amari Knee Black from the tight end position. But if it, 
either one of those go down, we got three more waiting. So that's probably good uh, that we deep, you know, at that position. So, hey, it is what it is. So we're going to uh, welcome John McNulty aboard, and uh, hopefully he can help develop these tight ends that we got. Uh, Amar Knee Black, I think he scored one touchdown uh, last season, you know. Cameron Latou, he was our starter. He was our go-to guy at the uh, tight end position, and I like what he brought to the team from the tight end position. But, unfortunately, he's gone now. He'll be he entering the draft, so he'll be in the NFL next season. Yeah, I have no doubt that Cameron Latou will succeed in the NFL. But it's time for Martin Lee Black and Robert Ous to step up. And we need Danny Lewis or Elijah Brown or Miles Kesselman. I think either one of them can do it. I, I mean, I want to see what Miles Kesselman can do because, uh, you know, we got him from Hudson Community College uh, last season. So hopefully uh, he'll get see the field this season and uh, we'll see what he can do. But welcome aboard, John McNulty, and we're glad to have you. And uh, hopefully you and Tommy Reese can have this Alabama Offense expo explosive. So, it is what it is. I know we're trying to get back to running the football, too. So, hey, we'll see what we got come September. And I think Tommy Reese, we'll have our offense where it need to be. Because guess what? I will continue to say it can't get no worse than Bill O'Brien. I don't care that our offense did average uh, 41 points a game. It wasn't because of Bill O'Brien. I tell you that. So, but anyway, Tom Maurice, he's got the athletes. He's got the, I'm telling you, Alabama offense going to be the most, the most athletic offense or the most talented offense in all of college football, as well as the defense, because we have the most talent than anybody else in the country. All right. And if we can put it all together in 2023, I have no doubt that we will be in the SEC championship game and moving on into the playoffs, okay? That's just my opinion. That's just my opinion because you know me, old kangaroo black, always got faith in his Alabama Crimson Tide. And just like I said last season, even though I was wrong, it didn't work out the way that us Alabama fans wanted it to or the way I predicted it. But you know me, and you know what I'm going to say. My Alabama Crimson Tide will go 15-0 and 0 and win the 2023 National Championship. Roll damn tide.